back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and my channel Life, Love and Puppy Paws focuses on motherhood, lifestyle, homemaking and home decor videos. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you my Halloween shop with me and also a decor haul. So um, I don't typically, I haven't typically decorated for Halloween. Um, I love to go all out for fall, but I haven't done a lot with Halloween um, in the past, but um, a little known fact about us, my son was born on Halloween. He's a Halloween baby, and so he will be three this year on Halloween, and he's starting to get really into pumpkins and all things Halloween, and if you ask him when his birthday is, he's like, my birthday's on Halloween. So I thought it would be fun just to do a little bit of decorating for Halloween in our home this year just to get him super excited, um, to get our family super excited. So I'm not going to go all out. Um, I'm still going to leave up all of my fall decor. I'm just going to add some touches of Halloween to our existing fall decor. So um, I had hardly anything for Halloween. So I went out um, and did some shopping. And so I'm going to share some footage of that shop with me um, just to show all the stores that I went to and all the things that they had out in case you're interested in purchasing some things for Halloween. Let's get shopping. Mistakes haunt us, but do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp, you've cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know.
drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me Callie Danielle and I'll link her shop below so she um, does all of these little illustrations she designs them herself and then she has t-shirts um, and a few other like she had some Tervis tumblers and a couple of other items um, at her shop with all these little illustrations and so um, this shirt I believe as of today when I'm shooting this is still available um, she also has a how another um, fun Halloween shirt actually I think two Halloween shirts coming out um, so today is Friday when this video is going live. They're going um, live in her shop on Thursday, the day before. So hopefully they'll still be available when this video goes up, but usually they sell out super quick, but she does typically do um, restock and she'll have a pre-order for the restock. So I'll link those in the comments below. I'm hoping that I can snag the one Halloween, one of the Halloween shirts that she's launching tomorrow. So I'll definitely share that link below, but um, I thought that this was super cute and could be used either for fall or for Halloween. Um, and so if it's still available, definitely um, snag one for yourself. So this next item I got, this is, um, I got this off of Etsy and I'll link it below. This is a Halloween advent calendar. And so again, since his birthday is on Halloween, I thought this would be a super fun way to count down, I guess count down to Halloween and to his birthday. And so it's this felt wall hanging and there's these little pockets and it comes with um, little felt um, Halloween um, items that you can stick stick on it and so every day he will 
pull a little item out of the pocket and stick it on. Um, I'll be honest, this year he probably will just pull them all out and put them on at once. Um, I don't know how well he will understand that you only get one out a day, but I thought this was a super cute thing that we could um, use in the future as well as he gets older and he gets kind of more into the counting down the days. Um, but I thought this would be a nice kind of heirloom piece that we could keep. It's super nice quality. Um, and like I said, it came with the wall hanging and all these little pieces. And so super excited to share that with him. He's already been playing with all the pieces. I hope we don't lose them before Halloween, but that may happen as well. But we can always find some more pieces to put on here as well. So another item that I got for his room um, is this little, um, it's like a ghost and pumpkin garland. So if you saw my decorate with me video, which I um, shared earlier this week, I have a pumpkin garland in his room on his mirror. Um, and I'll probably leave that out and then switch it to this garland for the month of October just to kind of bring in a little bit more Halloween with the ghosts. And then I might switch it back to the pumpkin garland in November because um, I'll probably leave my fall decor out till closer to Thanksgiving. Um, but I thought that this was super fun and he'll like the ghosts and the little pumpkins and it'll just be a fun way to, to decorate his room a little bit more. And then I also found him, so I got the garland and I also found him this little book. Um, I'm obsessed with getting him um, seasonal and holiday themed books. And so I'll do a video, um, another video with more kids activities and I'll share more of the books that we have. But um, I found this at Home Goods along with the garland um, and it's trick or treat with tow truck Joe. He's really into trucks. Um, and there's also a fire truck in here. Um, that's not the fire truck, but it's in here somewhere, I swear. There's a fire, there's the fire truck. He's obsessed with fire trucks, and so I was like, oh, they have a fire truck in here. He'll be super excited about that, along with all the other little trucks, and so um, I'm probably gonna give this to him maybe on October 1st and kind of like kick off with his advent calendar and his books and really kind of like, again, count down to Halloween and his birthday. The other thing that I got for his room is this little pillow from the Target Dollar Spot, and so it's double-sided, and so this side says Hocus Pocus, and this size says trick or treat. And so I have another pillow very similar to this size um, that I've got currently in his room. It's a fuzz on there. Um, currently in his room that has pumpkins on one side and apples on the other. That's kind of more fall theme. But again, when um, October comes around, I think I'm gonna switch out this pillow and use this pillow um, for the month of October. And then we'll put the fall pillow back for the month of November. I like to switch things around, so. Um, be doing a little bit of that in October and November. Okay, so getting more into the actual home decor portion of our haul. So I got this little Ray Dunn pumpkin that says trick on it. And I'm either gonna put this on my mantle or I'm gonna put it on one of my tier trays. So um, I, I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna try to figure it out, but I just thought that it was uh, nice because I'm, I'm looking for home decor pieces that fit my fall style. Um, and so I'm not really into the really kind of cutesy or the scary um, type Halloween decor. Um, my home decor or my fall decor is um, a lot of neutral colors with um, a lot of burnt orange and then also like a turquoisey, sagey green color. Um, and so I was looking for Halloween items that fit those colors so that way they would tie in really nicely with my existing decor. So I thought that this being a very neutral um, color, being white, um, would fit in really nicely. And so um, we'll figure out where we're gonna put this here soon. So a couple of the items that I got at Kirkland. So I got this um, trick or treat pillow that um, I'm planning on putting in my entryway. There's a little bench in my entryway that I always like to put like a seasonal pillow on. So I thought that this would be the perfect size to fit on that bench. So um, I'll share that here with you when I decorate as well. And then I got a couple of cute little pumpkins that might go on my tear tray. They might go on my mantle, I'm not sure, but this little, um, this is kind of fall, like it's not necessarily trick or treat, but um, I was looking for some more like orange pumpkins to put on my tear tray. Um, and so I got this little orange plaid, orange, it's, I guess it's an orange and white plaid and it's got some distressing around it. This was $4.99. And then I also got these two little pumpkins. They had a third one that was orange. It said trick or treat that I'm kind of kicking myself for not picking up, but I was trying not to go too crazy, um, even though I did go crazy. But this one says boo y'all and this one says hocus pocus. And they were $5.99 and all the things at Kirkland's last weekend were 20% off. Typically on the weekends, there's like a 20% off coupon. So um, if you're looking to shop at Kirkland's, I would 
check your emails, sign up for their emails. And then, like I said, there's been like every weekend, there's been a 20% off coupon. So that like lasts over the, the weekend. So definitely keep your eye out for that if you're looking to shop at Kirkland's. But I thought that these were super cute um, to put on a tiered tray. Here's another item that I got at Kirkland's. I actually picked this up a few weeks ago, so you might have seen this in one of my other home decor hauls, but um, it just says Happy Halloween. Um, it was $8.99. Again, I think I used a 20% off coupon, but um, I might either put this again on a tiered tray or my mantle. Um, I'm looking to decorate either, my, I'm looking to decorate only a few places in my home. So my mantle, my, I'm gonna do a tiered tray specific for Halloween, and then I'm gonna add a few pieces to my entryway. Um, so I'm not planning on decorating the entire house, just adding a few um, Halloween pieces in with my current decor. So this may actually end up going either on the tiered tray or in my entryway. I'm not sure, but i um, super excited to set it out. And I love that it's got like some glitter. The Halloween is black glitter. Okay, so all of these next items came from the Target Dollar Spot. And some of these I shared with you in my fall decor haul from a few weeks ago. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you again. Um, and there's a few new things as well. So the first is this little three pack of um, Halloween signs. So it says, welcome to, I think it says our haunted home. It's covered. Oh yeah, welcome to our haunted house, October 31st and no tricks, just treats. And so I thought these would be super cute to add to a tiered tray as well. And again, these, these were $3, $3 for the three little mini signs. And then I love this pumpkin. Um, it was $3 from the Target Dollar Spot. And so I think I'm gonna put this on my mantle. Um, I have an idea of how I'm gonna decorate my mantle. And so I think I'm gonna add this to my mantle. Um, and then these are these were a dollar each, these little fabric pumpkins. I thought they were perfect for Halloween, just the black and white um, patterns. And so I think these might go on my tiered tray as well. So this cute little sign was $3 and I love that it has the 31st because again, my son's birthday is on the 31st. And so I'm, I think I might either hang this inside my magnolia wreath that's on my front door. I have a, another little chalkboard sign that I wrote happy fall on. And so I might put this in place of that or I might put it in my son's room. I'm not 100% certain, but um, either way, I just like that it had the 31st on it since that's his birthday. And then I also picked up this Happy Halloween Garland. This was $3 from the Target Dollar Spot. I think I'm gonna hang this on my mantle as well. And then this last thing from the Target Dollar Spot, this isn't really decor related, it's kind of more kids activities, but I did pick up these little gel clings. Um, they were a dollar each. So this says trick or treat, this one says Happy Halloween. And so I thought this would be a fun way um, maybe this weekend all, or I might wait. I might wait until the first, I'm not sure. Um, but I thought it'd be a fun way. He's super into decorating along with me. Um, so I thought this would be a fun way that he could help decorate our house. And so um, we got these for St. Patrick's Day and he had a whole lot of fun and they ended up all over our house, um, which is fine. Um, but I thought that this would be fun for Halloween this year. Oh, one more thing from the Target Dollar Spot. I got this little, it's like a little cauldron candle. Um, it's got a pumpkin candle on the inside, it's orange. But this was $3 and I thought this would be super cute on a tiered tray as well. So pick that up from the Target Dollar Spot as well. Okay, the last item that is new this year and then I'll show you a few things from previous years that I have as well. But this is little trick or treat sign came from Etsy. It's like really nice and heavy. It's like a really nice handmade sign. And so um, I think I'm gonna be putting this on my um, mantle. So we'll see, I need to see if it's gonna fit, but um, super excited to put this out as well. So these last two items are not new. Um, they are things that I've had from the past, but I just wanted to share it. This was literally the only Halloween decor that I had before I bought all this stuff, but I just wanted to share it with you. Um, this first one here, I think this maybe came from Pier 1. Um, it's just a little cute little ghost with a little spider on the top, but um, I've had this for years and um, I think it'll go well with all of the stuff that I bought. Um, and I'm super excited. I might put this in my entryway. Um, but again, it was kind of the only piece that I had to start with. So just wanted to share that. And then my brother got me this sign many years ago. I have absolutely no idea. It might've been Cracker Barrel or it might've been a craft fair. I'm thinking it was probably Cracker Barrel, but it says the witch is in and she's casting spells. And um, he was referring to me as the witch because he is my brother and that's what brothers do. So, uh, but I thought it was super cute and I've had it all these years. And so 
Um, again, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it, but um, either like maybe on a tiered tray or I might hang it inside a wreath. I think I've done that in the past, but super cute and just wanted to share that. So that's all the Halloween goodies that I got. And so um, I think I'm going to be trying to decorate um, on Friday, the day this video is going up. I'm gonna to try to decorate and surprise my son so when he gets home, um, we'll have some fun Halloween stuff around. I mean, nothing super spooky, so I don't think he's gonna get like over the top excited, but I think he'll get excited to see the ghosts in his room um, and so just some different things. So um, if, I, if I get around to getting it up in time, I'll share some footage of what um, his his reaction is when he gets home but i um, super excited to share with you my video for my Halloween decorate will be going live next Thursday so um, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you're made aware when that video goes live um, and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know what your favorite decor piece was that I picked up um, I'd also love to know do you decorate for Halloween um, do you go all out do you just add a few pieces and like what's your Halloween decorating style like do you like to do the more spooky do you like to do the more cutesy do you kind of do a more neutral like I'm doing where it kind of fits in with your regular like fall decor let me know because I'm always looking for inspiration and ideas and so if you have a Halloween video please put in the link below because I would love to take a look at that and check that out so um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day